Hey guys, I'm excited to talk you through my isolation facial that I have been loving. I have been doing this about once a week to target congested pores and to detoxify and brighten my skin. Step one of any facial is to cleanse. I use the Endota Spa Sensitive Cleansing Milk. The key ingredients are colloidal oatmeal, calendula extract, argan oil, panthenol and sodium hyaluronate. What I love about this cleanser is that it's light, pH balance, non-irritating as it's fragrance free and helps to reduce redness through key ingredients such as colloidal oatmeal, which soothes skin with a complex containing proteins, lipids, carbohydrates and beta-glucan derived from oat grain. Calendula extract, which is derived from the marigold flower, is used to soothe inflammation of the skin. Argan oil is an emollient or moisturizing ingredient that fills gaps between skin cells to smooth, soften and in turn protect, moisturize and nourish the skin. Panthenol is a provitamin B5 that promotes tissue healing. And fi finally, sodium hyaluronate locks in moisture, supports skin elasticity and diminishes the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Here I'm using a bit more on my Foreo, which uses electrical pulsations to cleanse deeper into the epidermis. It's also made from silicon, so it's completely antibacterial. Step two is an exfoliation. I use a chemical form using Skin Institute Enzymatic Micro Peel. The key ingredients are lactic acid and papaya extract, which help exfoliate, vitamin B5 and B3, chamomile extract, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, passion fruit, and grapeseed oil to hydrate, soothe, and soften. The enzymes derived from papaya extract work to gently and selectively break down dead cells on the surface of the skin to reveal radiant skin underneath. The gentle formula is designed to stop exfoliating when no more dead skin remains, so no chance of overstripping. The mask is perfect for use after clinical dermal treatments such as chemical peels and microdermabrasion as well as on generally dry and sensitive skin like mine. This micro peel cleanses pores, repairs damage, and helps to calm inflamed skin. It contains vitamin B5 and B3. This mask helps nourish skin and heal barrier damage. Also, there's anti-inflammatory chamomile extract to help calm redness. Finally, hyaluronic acid and niacinamide are two powerful hydration ingredients. Now that my skin is exfoliated and clean, I'm going in with the Detox Clay Mask. This one is from Sports Girl Beauty. It's called the Holo Clay Detox and Brighten Mask. The key ingredients are kaolin and redwood clay, kakadu plum, witch hazel extract, salicylic acid, tosopherol, which is a vitamin E, licorice root extract, and aloe vera extract. What I love about this mask, it has no added pigment color, which you sometimes find in other clay masks. It's enriched with kaolin clay, red ochre clay, and kakadu plum to reduce the appearance of pores and redness, remove toxins, and brighten the appearance of skin. It uses salicylic acid, which is a BHA. This encourages exfoliation and unclogging of pores to reduce sebum secretion. It also contains witch hazel extract, which helps to tighten, 
reduce swelling, help repair broken skin and fight bacteria. Licorice root extract and tosopherol are both potent antioxidants and skin soothing ingredients. Next I'm going in with a toner or essence. I'm using the Dermalogica Redness Relief Essence. The key ingredients are oatmeal extract, aloe vera extract, eucalyptus and lavender oils. This is a lightweight toner with the power of a serum. Oatmeal extract is calming and balancing for the skin. Aloe vera offers a refreshing feel that instantly comforts sensitivities. It deeply hydrates the skin, strengthening the skin barrier. Eucalyptus and lavender oils are both anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. Next up is my favourite serum from Alpha H. It's a vitamin B with tricopper peptide. Fortified with niacinamide and copper tripeptides, it takes on environmental factors and assists in hydrating and plumping skin. It helps to enhance the skin's natural barrier and promote suppleness, elasticity and a firmer appearance, while diminishing the appearance of uneven skin tone. Copper peptides combine copper with amino acids that energize and invigorates the complexion. This serum contains ferulic acid to diminish the appearance of unevenness in the skin and is also a powerful antioxidant that helps protect the skin from damage caused by free radicals. Chia seed extracts rich in omega-3 and 6 essential fatty acids significantly increases skin hydration and reduces transepidermal moisture loss. This lipid-rich extract serum also contains probiotic ingredients as well. Next up, I'm going in with the Hyalamide Low Molecular HA Booster. This helps to build hydration in the lower layers of the skin to encourage better topical absorption and penetrate multiple layers of the epidermis. Hyaluronic acid ferment protects against free radical and UV damage for oil-free surface hydration. This purified non-animal source of hyaluronic acid repairs deeper layers of the skin. It promotes visible skin elasticity and plumpness by boosting skin's natural production of hyaluronic acid. While it's naturally found in the body, hyaluronic acid holds onto water very efficiently to keep skin firm and plump. Next, I'm using a vitamin C serum. This one is from ASAP. This uses L-ascorbic acid, which is an active form of vitamin C, and the other two ingredients, which I definitely won't be able to pronounce, are the three of the most potent antioxidants in skincare. These are combined together in this formula to brighten, stimulate collagen production, plump and protect the skin. It also incorporates vitamin E to calm inflammation, to even out skin tone whilst providing additional antioxidant protection against environmental damage. Vitamin C oxidizes very easily, so definitely wash your hands and keep the bottles airtight to avoid the product breakdown. Vitamin C stimulates collagen production and boosts current collagen reserves. Brighten skin visibility, fades and lifts hyperpigmentation, evening out skin tone and smooths fine lines and wrinkles. Next, I'm using the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Calm Water Gel. This is a weightless, refreshing gel formula which incorporates dual action hyaluronic acid technology. It's easily absorbed and provides long lasting moisture to dry dehydrated skin like mine. It has apple fruit extract and glycerin to help target sensitivity and dryness while protecting against free radical damage. I like to mix a few drops of my favorite oil products into this, such as Go To Face Hero Oil. Now on to eyes, which I always leave until last. I'm using the Dermalogica Biolumin C Eye Serum. This has two forms of vitamin C molecules that work together to fight oxidative stress. They are fused with palmitoyl tripeptide 5 to visibly brighten and firm the eye area, hydrating as it goes. 
Argent tree extract is chockers full of polyphenols, which help to boost the resilience of skin and protect against free radical damage. Chia seed oil is an ultra hydrating free radical fiber with high proportions of omega-3 fatty acid. This eye serum also incorporates mushroom extract, which have huge amounts of beta-glucan and stimulates hyaluronic acid production. Last step, the holy grail and the must of any good skincare routine is a quality SPF. I'm using the Ultraviolet Queen Screen SPF 50 Plus. This is a UVA and UVB broad spectrum protection. It's milky, lightweight serum texture, it's, which is invisible on the skin. It's oil free yet hydrating and gives a slight radiant glow. Dragocene Plus shields from blue light screens as well as protecting against UVA and UVB. It consists of Australian Kakadu Plum, which also offers a antioxidant vitamin C protection. It sits really well under makeup and on top of skincare, and it's free from parabens and oxybenzone.